Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a lens that I always recommend to people when they say, if I could only get one lens, what lens should I get? And that lens is... The 50 millimeter. So I guess I'm really recommending a focal length not really a lens because they make a 50 millimeter focal range in pretty much every lens line that's out there for any camera. So no matter what you're shooting with, you can get a 50 mil option. So other than just thinking this is a great focal length for good results, it also has a very entry level price for most cameras. So you can get a starter 50 mil lens for pretty cheap. For example, this one was 199 or 249 and my last one was $125. Of course, there are more expensive versions of the 50 mil, uh, like the 1.4s and the 1.2 apertures. This is a 1.8 aperture, which I've always found to be enough, especially for that price that you get. Now, when people ask me, hey, I'm gonna be doing some photo, maybe some wedding type stuff, maybe some portrait stuff, just to kind of get my hobby started, what lens should I start with? So that's where I always recommend the, the 50. So I've shot multiple weddings on a 50 mil lens. And the great thing about it is you put one lens on and you can just go with that for the entire time. You don't have to worry about switching lenses and the anxiety that comes with making sure you got the shot and switching for situations and things like that. Because the 50 mil usually starts at 1.8 aperture, you're able to get low light situations. So if the lights are dimmer, you still get decent quality. Just have that freedom of not having to worry about equipment and what lens is gonna be right for what setting. And just mastering this focal range, this 50 mil distance, because it's not gonna to be too tight. It's also not gonna to be too wide. So it's that good, good medium spot. What it allows you to do is get close to the subject and be intimate with the video but you don't have to be right on top of your subject in their way, invading their space. It's very versatile as far as getting the subject into your frame. And the reason I would recommend this 50 mil to a photographer is the same exact reason for video. It's a nice lens you can put on your camera, leave on your camera, and you don't have to worry about switching off and on. There's something so relaxing about having a camera with a single lens on it and just shooting the entire day, knowing everything you shoot that day was gonna have a consistent look across the board. And if you need to get closer, just walk closer. If you need a wider shot, just step a few steps back. It will allow you to have confidence in your shot and it's just definitely one of the better lenses to use. Now the 50 mil isn't only good for wedding videos and wedding photography, it's also good for travel video or travel photos. There's been times where I've lugged my entire gear, I've brought you know, multiple lenses, and then I end up just using the 50 mil most of the time. And I have some shots here from some of the travel stuff. You can still get zoomed in photos from a distance with the 50 mil and still have a good composition, or wide enough to kind of capture the area that you're in. It is definitely a lens that you wanna bring with you when you travel and possibly the only one that you might need during the whole trip. Let's say you do product photography or food photography. There's only one lens you can bring because of the environment or your budget. The 50 mil allows you to get that close up shots on things. It allows you to get the details, sharp focus, shallow depth of field, still sharp and fast in low light situations. And it's not typically gonna draw attention. I mean, look at the, this 50 mil is not very big at all. Let's actually, let's put this lens on a body so I can show you. I mean, check this out. Here is a camera with the 50 mil on here. Very discreet as far as that. So when you're taking pictures in the venue, no one's really going to draw too much attention. You're gonna have a giant lens on the end. Another positive for the 50 mil in situations is going to be the size for most 50 mils are gonna be pretty small. So the style of photography I think fits best with the 50 mil is going to be portraits. I've taken countless portraits with the 50 mil and it always is my favorite. I get that nice sharpness, great bokeh in the background, I don't have to stand miles away with some huge telephoto lens or get in super close with a wide angle. And this of course is shot on a $200 lens, which is available for pretty much any camera manufacturer. When I'm reviewing the photos from a photo shoot, I am typically drawn to the one shot on a 50. Almost every time I see one, I'm like, wow, that's the one I really like. I look at the data and it was shot on the 50 almost every single time. All right, thanks for watching my short video on the 50 mil focal length. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And let me know in the comments what your favorite lens is that you recommend to all friends and family that ask, if you could only buy one lens, what would you get? All right, thanks for watching, see ya.